Hello friends, today we are going to discuss regioselectivity of the diel selder reaction. The regioselectivity of the diel selder reaction of unsymmetrical diene with unsymmetrical dienophile can be predicted by orthopara rule. In general, one substituted dienes and monosubstituted dienophiles react to give orthoadduct as the major product. Two substituted dienes and monosubstituted dienophiles react to give para adduct as the major product. Let's understand these points with the general structure. If we have a monosubstituted diene and a monosubstituted dienophile there are two possible regio isomeric products. Orientation of diene and dienophile like this will give orthoadduct, while orientation of diene and dienophiles like this will give metaadduct. According to the orthopara rule, Orthoadduct will be the major, while metaadduct will be minor. Similarly, two substituted diene and monosubstituted dienophile can orient like this to form paraadduct, or they can orient like this to give metaadduct. According to the orthopara rule, paraadduct will be the major, while metaadduct will be minor. This rule is true for almost every combination of electron withdrawing and electron donating groups, except one case where X and Y both are electron donors. In this case, there is marginal metaselectivity. For more clarification, let's have some examples. For the clarification of first point, the substituents X and Y along with the percentage product distribution have been shown in this table. Here, we can see that irrespective of the nature of X and Y, whether they are electron donating or electron withdrawing, orthoadduct have been found to be the major adduct. In the case of 3, 4 and 5, there was only orthoproduct, metaadduct could not be even detected. For the clarification of second point, let's have another table. In this case too, we can see that irrespective of the nature of the substituents, paraadduct is the major adduct. In some case, like example 13 and 14, formation of metaadduct could not be even detected. 